Hello, mate. Find me? No, I'm doing me corns. All right, mate. <laughs> I need to go off. I'm just trying to show a bit of neighbourly interest. Still, that's how you feel. No, don't go, Sam. Don't, don't, don't go. I'm sorry I flew all past you, mate. I'm, I'm not myself this morning. I'm proper choked and with good reason, let me tell you. Ada's off again. All right, what's up then? What's up? Oh. Listen, I'll tell you the start off of it. You've seen these commercials on the telly where a... Uh, Here's a knock at the door of the house. He's got a microphone in the one hand. He's got a bag of soap in the other. Now comes the Mrs. Like, and this Herbert, he says, Good afternoon, madam. We're making a survey. Yes, yes, yeah, so, old mate. I've seen him, so. So? Now, Sam, you're not going to believe this, but yesterday afternoon, as true as I'm stood here... Good morning, madam. We're making a survey. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, Adam, if you could just... We don't want anything. And it's no good trying to modernise my husband. He sticks to his old-fashioned cuts. Oh, please don't go. I don't want to say to anything. Well, what are you waiting that thing about for, then? Well, you see, this is a microphone. A mother... Well, so it is. Yes, you see, I... Oh, I see, all right. I watch the telly, you know. Oh, but... good. Well, you see... Yes, I see. You've got a recording van on the other end of that wire, haven't you? Ah, yes, but you see... And in a minute, you're going to ask me what soap powder I use, aren't you? Uh, yes, but first... And if I say that I've won, you uh, ask me to say a few words, don't you? Uh, well, but you see... And then I do the bit about holding up to the light and shining bright on a safe... <laughs> and the I was at my filthy husband's shirt. That's it, isn't it? Well, something like that, but... The and then you say something and it's being all took down and photographed and it goes on the telly and my neighbours say, oh, look, there's Ada laughing. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, to be perfectly frank, yes. <laughs> oh, but why What do I know about Oh, come now. You obviously know a great deal about it. And I'm sure you'd make a wonderful subject for a short advertising film. Now, oh, go on. Do you really think so? Oh, but I do. But definitely. Such delivery, such attack, so direct, and yet so utterly sincere. Believe me. <laughs> and every once in a while, my instincts guide me unerringly to the perfect subject. You are the housewife I've been searching for all day. But there's no more to be said. Oh, how beautiful you said to Come in and have a cup of tea. George, put the kettle on! Oh, well, thank you most awfully. I... Uh... Uh, oh. <laughs> I say you haven't half come to the end of your death, haven't you? Well, yes, I have, rather. <laughs> yes, excuse me, mate. Hello, what's all this, then? This is my husband. Alf, this gentleman wants me to go on television. Go on. Who are you? Oh, well, I'd better introduce myself, hadn't I? Yes, mate, you better read. Uh, yes, um, oh, would you mind? Uh, I have a card here somewhere. Oh, with my compliments. So you do use that brand, don't you? Oh, yes, of course I do. No, you don't. You use the... I do now. I understand. <laughs> Look, mate, why don't you just tell me your name? Oh. I'll, I'll believe you. Oh, here we are. Hugo Winciet Twing. Oh. No, I mean, I won't have to have it written down. How French? What about this girl? Well, it is very tempting. Wouldn't well, that make the neighbours sit up, wouldn't it? Oh. It would indeed. Look, Ada, do you want to know what I think? No, I don't. Where do you want me to talk? Well, I'll go into that when I bring the cameras round tomorrow, but I think just as you are now, against that wonderful old weather-beaten door. Tea's ready! This way, please. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I mean, last time we had this doorway painted. The door? Ada! <laughs> and it marvels. <coughs> Yeah, three quarters of an hour he was in there laying down the poison and me stuck out there like Lynn Reed Banks. By the time I did get in there, of course, the damage was done. You really keen on the idea, then? Keen on it? She's absolutely hanging on the knock up of that guy's ear. What's this? Oh, yes, I always did. You try to be Come on. You finished this painting yet? Yes, it's finished. But you haven't touched the top half. They're not filming the top half. Now, I'm not painting anything that's not going to be used. You've got the doorway and halfway up the drain pipe and that's your lot. Oh, I see. I know what's the matter with you. You're jealous, aren't you? You're afraid I should get a bit of limelight. Limelight. That's right then, Ada. You're going on the telly? Well, I have been approached. Oh, I have been. If you're going to do a 15-second soap commercial, you think it was Quo Valdis. It's not the length. It's what you put into them that counts. Yeah, what are you advertising? Soap or sausages? Oh, shut up. <laughs> 
you're as bad as he is, but I'll tell you straight, this is my big chance and I'm going to take oh, it. Now, lay off, Ada. Won't you get it into proportion, girl? I have got it into proportion. Cash on oh. delivery. Thank you. I've been waiting for this. Here, cash on delivery. I heard you. I'll pay the boy. All right. Do what? I said pay him. All right. I'll settle with you later. Yeah, that's different. Yes, I thought it would be. Now then, what is this? Cash on delivery. I heard that. <coughs> Theatrical Gear Limited, one complete set of television makeup. Yeah. Sam, this is worse than I thought. <coughs> Couldn't you two play bookend somewhere else? Really, Jeff, I don't know how you can just calmly go on working. Calmly? Or I could have said, working? Hold that table, Jeff. Oh, don't mind me. I'm only trying to earn the odd living, hack out a crust or two. Now, don't you start going temperamental. You're not the only one representing the arts now, you know. Us artists must stick together. Artists? Cool. Are you going to be a lightning cartoonist? That's grease paint. And whether that's sarcasm or just plain ignorance, I'll thank you not to take after your father. Now, let me see. Powder, cream... More grease paint, put her on us, wipe her off us. Oh, I say, you'd never believe there was all this paraphernalia, would you? Really, Mum, for one little sort of commercial, you've gone and bought all this rubbish? It's not rubbish, and I haven't bought it. Your father has. What's that? It struck me <laughs> that you could treat me to this as a little wish me luck present. Never. It would be a nice gesture. Uh, look, mate, the only gesture that you're liable to get from now, me... Now, Fred... Well, lashing out on all this muck. Now, don't you start. This is a very essential part of my performance. Performance is right. Look, Ada, girl, you're doing one tiny little bit of commercial. You're not in a play. How do you know? I might go on right in the middle of armchair theatre. Oh, Mum, you're making a career out of it. I might well be, and don't you forget it. Hugo said so. Hugo? Yeah, the bloke behind all this, the soap merchant, windswept string, or whatever his <laughs> flipping name is. Winsiet Twing, and he's not a soap merchant. He comes from the firm that makes these advertising films, and he says that if this soap one goes well, there's no end to the things I could advertise. Kitchenware, food stuffs, cornflakes. Hula hoops. You can scoff. <laughs> I just did. Hugo's got plans for me. He says he might even put me into one of these advertising magazines. What as a bookmark? Oh. <laughs> You're just jealous, that's what you are, the lot of your fine thing, isn't it? Here's me on the threshold of me big child. Oh, now, Ada, the time has come, here, hold this. The time has come, Ada, for me to make myself perfectly clear. Now, if you're set upon making this one commercial, so be it. But that's all you're doing, mate, the one and finish. Uh, I tell you, we're not going to have none of this queen of the screen now. And who says so? Tell her. He says so. And I agree. You've got reinforcements, haven't your you? Your first duty, Ada, is as a wife and a mother. The neglect of your family. When have I neglected one of them? Yeah, but you would, mate. You would. You, you couldn't help yourself. You'd get caught up in that gay, glittering world up there at the television house. Those, those mad champagne elevenses they have there. <laughs> I can just visualise the scene. A cold winter's evening. Home comes Eddie, our little Eddie. He says to me, what's for tea, Daddy says. And me, how can I tell him? Eddie, my son, it's cold bangers again. <laughs> Your mother's out standing in for Fanny Craddock. Oh, no, Bob, please. Oh. Can you imagine the effect of all this on that tender, impressionable young boy? Look, everybody. Charlie Chan. Oh, well, Yeah, you see, he's impressed already. Well, I'm not. In fact, I'm going before it becomes an epidemic. Thanks, Pa. Could I trouble you, Dame Sybil? <laughs> well, it was only a joke. Oh, I should hope so. Whatever do you look like? Supposing somebody was to come in. Good morning. Oh, good morning. How are you? Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, well, never mind. Your door was open, so I just pushed sort of in. <laughs> and how are you? Marvellous. When was you thinking of pushing sort of off? <laughs> oh. Uh, do I know you? Hey, to talk to your number one son, will you? Where'd he go? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, hello, and how are you? I'm oh, perfectly well, thank you. Well, come on now, where are these cameras of yours? Oh, well, they'll be around later, but in the meantime, we must arrange the preliminaries. First of all, I must find a suitable background for you. But you said you wanted me took in the front door. Well, well, I've had second thoughts about that. I just don't see you in that doorway. Then yeah, you want to get yourself a pair of glasses, mate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just a minute. You mean after I've painted that perishing front, you're not going to use it? Ah, oh, that's show business. Oh. 
Well, what about the kitchen? Oh, now you're not going to use the kitchen. Oh, well, I think so. After all, it is the most appropriate background for a soap ad. Well, could I say? Not until I've had the washing took down. Joy! <laughs> yeah. Cigarette? Don't you try and bribe me here. And while I've got you here man to man, well, roughly speaking, I want you to understand that I'm against this whole thing. Oh, I see. Dead against it, you and your big talk. You've turned my wife's head, you have. But really? Yes, you push your way into my house. You not only disrupt my entire family, you not only practically wreck my home, but you, you smudge my perishing paintwork. Oh. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. I had no idea you felt like that. Well, I do. Well, in that case, we'd better call the whole thing off. Yes, we'd better add. Only you could explain it to your wife. I'm not going to face her. Well, do that and all, mate. Oh, leave her a note or something. <laughs> Pity. Mm, such a wonderful subject, too. Oh, well, at least we save the fee. Fee? Joyce, hurry up, Eddie. Do get out of the way. Joyce, better have that packet of soap powder, Abby. Here you are. Not that one, the one he gave me yesterday. Oh, we always use that one. Who's doing this commercial, you or me? This stuff's wonderful. It's marvellous. It's a new soap sensation. Is it? Well, it must be. It says so on the packet. Oh. You'll have to move off there, Jeff. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's all right. The, the gypsy life suits me. Do you suppose anybody's using that? I shouldn't think so, do you? Good. <laughs> Oh, do oh come. no! Uh, this is my son-in-law. You missed him yet? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. That's all right. My luck had to run out sometime. Eddie, open the door. The door? Yeah, maybe I can work in the garden. Oh, I see. <laughs> Outdoor type. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Arkins, I've been discussing things with your husband. Don't you take no notice of him. He's against the whole thing. No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm being reconsidered. No, it's a very good idea. And speaking as your manager. Ask me what? Well, somebody's got to handle the financial side, and I thought... Well, you can think again. Hey, do you do want money worries? You stay out of it, and I won't have any. Oh. <laughs> well, if that's your attitude... It is. I shall withdraw my support. Good, now perhaps we can get on. I say, I, I hate to disrupt your normal domestic harmony. Oh, yes. bless your heart, this is normal, Joyce. Eddie, how do you want me to... <laughs> Hi, Pop. You left home, too? Yeah, I had a bleeding cheek after all I'd done for her and all. I mean, if I was one of these mean, secretive husbands always hiding things from her, I wouldn't mind it. I... Move yourself. Yes. <laughs> all right, then. Let her get on with it. She'll come round. Don't you fret. She'll soon miss my guiding hand. What are you going to do in the meantime? I shall just wait here. I'll get your sleeping bag. Thank you. I won't need anything of the kind. She'll soon find out that she can't handle this alone. Any minute now, she'll be begging me to help her. She'll be calling my name piteously. Help! <laughs> piteously? Never mind. She called it. Now it's my turn. I shall make her wait. She'll have to coax me back. Yes, I'm coming. No, no. Don't weaken. Be firm. I'm going to be firm. Come with us. <laughs> no, Ada, yes. No, you want my advice. No, oh, well, yes, in a way. You see, I should like to pose your good lady leaning gracefully over the washing machine. And as that no. come out. We are not having a washing machine, and that is it. Pity. <laughs> Never mind. Back to the thing. Oh, but it's so dirty. It needs a coat of out. No, we've run out of paint. You're not being very cooperative. No, are I you? should think not, neither. Ada, what do you take me for? Now, go on. Tell me, what do you think I am? Never mind. I can guess. No, you're right. <laughs> I've thought of a new one. Well, do you mind? <laughs> Look, I've just had a marvellous idea. I mean, we don't want your husband to feel left out of things, Ooh. do we? So why couldn't he be in the commercial with you? What, him? Me? Advertising soap powder? Oh, <laughs> oh, well, it, it was only a suggestion. What do you want to do, muck up the old thing? No, no, I just, just thought I'd give him something to do. Oh, did you? The only thing he can do is hold a pint of beer in his hand. Why not? What a brilliant idea. Aye? I see him holding up a foaming tanker. Oh, no, you don't get me on this, uh, this hidden dirt lock. No, 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 no. In your own commercial. 
Advertising beer. Aye? Well, come on, what do you say? Well? Oh, no, Pop, no. For an additional fee, of course. Oh, of course. No, Pop, please. Real beer. Real beer? Oh, Pop. <laughs> Set the stage, son. <laughs> you just got yourself an actor. Come in. Hello, Eddie. Oh, hello, Matt. No, I'm sorry I can't offer you a bucket. Oh, that's all right. Here, when your mum and dad going to make these commercials, then? Today. Thank goodness, then we can get back to normal. Eddie, move yourself. I need that bucket for me, sir. Dear. Hello, Myrtle. Hello, Mrs. Larkins. Could, could... could your mother borrow what? No, it's for me. Could I have your autograph? Why, well, bless the child, of course you can. <laughs> I'll send it over and a packet of tea. How is your mother? Oh, oh, I'm she's fine. fine, thanks. Duck. <laughs> is Emma a bit of news? A nuisance? Why, of course she isn't. As a matter of fact, I was just going to ask her if she'd like to be in my commercial. Oh, could I? Yes, my dear, you can. You can play my daughter. Oh, well, what about your choice? Don't she want to be in it? I've asked her. She won't have nothing to do with it. I must have somebody to have me the clean sheet and say, Oh, Mum, I never realised I'd been washing all wrong so it could be Myrtle. Oh, fancy me on the telly. Don't let it go to your head, dear. You've only got one line. Eddie, <laughs> show her into the studio. The kitchen. Well, I think it's a lot of... Yes. No. Come on, Myrtle. <laughs> Say to love and be a bit of fun for her. Fun? I get her a party in my big production and you call it fun. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure. All this excitement seems to have turned your head. Turn my... What are you talking about? I'm no different. I've just brought me out. Look, that's all. Why am I acting funny or something? Well, no, but you know that packet of tea you sent in yesterday? Yes, I remember. Turned out to be pearl barley. <laughs> Oh, wow. How could I have made a mistake like that? Well, I mean, I wondered. A thing like that you'd notice right away, normally. Normally? Mind you, I thought that tea was pouring a funny colour. <laughs> Still, it made a change, didn't it, really? And as our Sam's... Oh, is Sam over in your place? He said he was just popping in to see your elf, but that was hours ago. Now, look, Sam, if you're going to do it, mate, you've got to do it right. Jeff, give it to him again. Again, all right. Now listen, Sam. First, you drink the beer. Not yet. Then you turn and say, Course down the crows, what marvelous beer, whose is it? Then I do the spill telling them, all right? Now then, now we'll take it from where you drink the beer. Off you go. Now your words. And it marvellous, and it, and it marvellous. He only knows it up to there, and it's taken him three hours to learn that. But, <laughs> Jeff, mate, why can't you do it? I don't know. Somebody around here's got to keep a level head. Anyway, your friend Hugo says I'm not the type. Me, a fully-fledged fluid. Ah, son. Your son, keep calm. Right, back to work. Now, Sam, pay attention. Eddie. Camera! Mark it! Beer commercial, scene one, take 54. Hey, hey. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't keep dodging off, I need you in here. <laughs> yeah, but Dad keeps calling me. Never mind him, you're under contract to me. Oh, I'm fed up with the whole business. I can't help that, I did offer you a supporting role. I'm back, Mrs. Larkins, will this do? Myrtle, what are you supposed to be? Well, you said I might get splashed. Yes, but we're advertising soap, not sardines. <laughs> All right, go on. That'll be you go. Take over, Myrtle. <laughs> oh, do come, come in. in. Oh, hello. There's two sets, Jack. One in the kitchen, one in the dining room. Now get set up six as you can, but this is a rush job. A uh, rush job? Oh, what a day. I've had PJ on my neck. What's that, a poultice? Yes, <laughs> isn't it? PJ is my boss. Oh. Yes, there's been a mess up ahead of it. It's no good going into details because you just won't understand. But it simply boils down to this. I've been cut down to one film only. 
one. Which, Which one? one? Well, I did. I don't know. It, it may be the soap or it may be the beer. Anyway, I, I'm going to film them both. The, the best we'll use and the other one we'll scrap. Oh, well, let's press on. It will be quite a contest, won't it? Here, I say, no sabotage. Sabotage? <coughs> Soap. Eddie. Yes, come in. Eddie, you still got that soap you had over Christmas? Soap? That stuff that made you the life and soul at a party. Oh, you mean that stuff that sends your face all black? Yeah, you got any left? Yes. Get but... it. Oh. <laughs> Myrtle, what are you having a bubble bath? If it gets in the eye, I wish we'd drink in it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hiya, Viv. Looking for Sir Larry? <laughs> I'm looking for me scissors and I don't want no sauce. <clears throat> They're on the sideboard. I'll get them. No, first. I'll get them myself. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> Hello, girls. Oh, what a lovely head of such. You're welcome to it. Oh, well, ain't you going to be in this commercial month? No. Well, your mum did ask you. She did, you know. Well, she can ask. So she's black in the face. Black in the face. <laughs> black in the face. Oh, no. Here's to a nice white one. What are you doing in my bathtub? Uh, 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 trying to blow the froth off. Good luck. And you. All right, you go. Let's get rolling. La, 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 la. Oh, hello, Hugo. Oh, hello, PJ. Uh, these are the rushes from yesterday? Uh, yes, sir, yes. I've, I've done the best I can with them, but they're not quite what we wanted. They'd better be. Well, let's have a look at them, anyway. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, establishing shot on the front door. Very good. One more shot of me, sir. It isn't a very good likeness. You nincompoop, you film squandering maniac. What the devil are you doing? What the devil are you Oh, for Peter, let's go to bed. No. Eddie, are you sure you got that phone message right? Yeah, of course I did. It was definitely Hugo. He said he'd got enough out of the film for one commercial. No problem. He didn't say. But he did say it'd be on the telly during the next few days. The next few. Look. Mate, we've been watching telly solid for a week together and in shifts. Where is it? It'll pop up when we least expect it, and I'm not missing it. Well, I couldn't care less. Joycey, come on to bed. All right, well, I finished the thrill. Good! Jeff! 
I got the cramp again. Oh, no, you haven't on any of you. It's all right for you, girl. You've got the air cushion all. Look how commercial's coming up. Look, there's our front door. You're right. Pete, Dad, he's on now. <laughs> Within everyday life goes on at a price. For instance, do you suffer from kitchen droop? Do you suffer from adolescent growing pain? Do you suffer from dyspepsia? Then you need Cure All, the new wonder tonic. Cure All, your body good. Cure All, the dynamic feel panacea. Cure All, your body good because.